right? Welcome everyone, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Zom 100, 100 episode, episode 2. two. Oh right. shit! Bucket list of the dead. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's go. go. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's... Yeah. That's about it. That's like, about I it. I mean, y'all, like, we're gonna see Tendo go and start his first of a... Uh, First of a hundred things, mm -hmm. um, what kind of friends he makes along the way, yes. and also uh, how he stays positive when it gets to being like, oh, like, yeah, he does make friends, but they die, or like, you know, just shit doesn't right. stay as positive as possible. He's in know? the high of the adjustment period, and now you got to make sure that you don't succumb to this new life in the same way that, you know, the whole corporate life had that positive start and then true you know yep great comparison yeah but yeah tendo it's a good start so mm -hmm. far so keep it up and maybe he won't last three years anyway so it doesn't matter <laughs> all right but y'all without further ado let's get into this <laughs> oh don't worry this is just a nightmare that's over Still has the PTSD, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he strikes off from his uh, very oh, defended apartment. So. Oh no, yeah, this is perfect. No zombies would smell a living person in here. Alright. <laughs> 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 oh, OP, OP time, yeah. Yes. Yes. What the what? fuck? <laughs> we got a Chinibio with full on samurai, samurai gear. I mean, that'd be the way to go, right? Wow, this is Shaft. Oh. Yeah. I mean, of course it is, right? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do we get more neck tilts? Zombie anime. <laughs> and he's cleaning his apartment. Oh. You got that smile back. I imagine the smell from the street is probably pretty bad, though. I think the biggest thing with cleaning like this, though, is that people don't realize how much a bad smell that you're living with affects your mental state. Yes. Like, even if you don't notice it, your body does. I think it's because you don't notice it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Holy water! Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What if the camera spotted somebody? <laughs> like, spotted him just... Just dancing on the rooftop. Yeah, yeah. You know? Song of the Dead! <laughs> yeah. But what happens when the beer runs out? Well, let's see, one day at a time. Yep, that was the last one. A beer run? No! Uh, yeah. It's time to go to work. <laughs> so make sure you shut your door before you leave. Yep. Limber up. Do you have any beer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, he doesn't go to the store. He just goes to other apartments. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been able to introduce myself because I was so busy working. Yep. Ah! I love it. <laughs> yep, as long as you got a bike, you can outrun all the zombies. Yep. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to hold that much beer in that backpack, though. I guess he does have the basket, but like balance it on the handlebars, you know, equal equal weight bags. <laughs> it's like one of those automatic cameras that turns on when someone comes close to them. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you're gonna steal my bike. All right, meeting the first uh, first survivor. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
Wait, why is she using her phone? Grocery list. Oh, she's already given up. That's why she's not talking. It's just another person that's going to die, you know? Mm, sure. Yeah. What is this, Edge Runners? <laughs> yeah. Nope, just some random driver that's probably a zombie. Should get out of there. They're about to pop out of the front mm. door. The, the... And apparently has a nice ass. Uh, yeah. Oh! Oh my god. Your motorcycle license. All right. Little moped thing here. He's like, I saw that. <laughs> Kawasaki or something. <laughs> Lane! <laughs> oh, he's, he did. All right. Okay. He didn't crash. Oh, no. You forgot to get the groceries for the couple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. Rode your motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We connect with that. Yeah, he did that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's four things right there. Yep. That's a good day. Mm-hmm. Try out dreadlocks. Nice. All right, what else? Wine and dine. Wait, why Why don't we as people celebrate this? Like, why don't we as people do this? That's a good question. Man, I'm a... Right? Like, I'm, I'm gonna write my list. Like, Right? Like, I remember I used to do things like that, but... Yeah, what stopped? Yeah. Whoa, is that like family? What realization did he just have? Well, it's something about being out in the country. Yeah, oh, fuck, oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. It's a good list of things. Mm -hmm. One third right. of the way to 100. Yep. <laughs> No alarm clock. Just. Ah. Uh, uh, meanwhile. So she's living the scheduled. Right, like life, the militant basically. survival survival yeah. life. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to avoid. Nice. nice. We got someone else here. Is this dad, maybe? No, I think this is the character from the oh. beginning of the, uh, from the beginning, oh. remember? Sure. Gotcha. Ah, and because it's a, one of those types of cameras, she uses that to be able to tell when zombies mm -hmm. are coming. Yeah. Ah, uh, so this is from her perspective that sure. day. Sure, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, right, and he <laughs> sings this song about beer. Nice, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so she saves him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cool. All right. Awesome. Introduce the new character. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, VD. We can already see a team forming. Uh huh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> ah. Hey, the RV. Yep, yep. Shoot, what's the movie I'm thinking of? The live action movie of it's like, I want to spend the end of the world with you or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is reminding me of like an anime version of that in some ways. Mm, sure. It's very different, but like. Yeah. All right. Tendo's got his bucket list. He's yep. got someone that could be an eventual friend. Mm -hmm. The ED definitely does point to having a little squad of four, which sounds super awesome. Sounds fantastic. Um, but yeah, he's got also a bucket list forming of 33 things. Yep. He's got a third of his way to 100 down. He also stopped moving away. He moved away from the, ah, these are kind of the basic things, but more of like the ambitious things of like, yeah, yeah go to my parents and spend some time with them. Mm -hmm. Meet the woman of my dreams. Like Right, that's a that's a bold one to put down yeah. when you're in a zombie apocalypse. Right, like, like like looking at his list here, he crossed off a lot of things. Yeah, I'd really say probably quickly. about half of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah of, of the 30-ish yep. things, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the way in which he kind of thought to his dad and was like, oh. Right. Oh, shit. And I... Yeah. And I feel like that that does kind of make sense because mm -hmm. as you go through stuff like that, there's going to be the the, the little things that are yeah. still really important, like loaf around and drink beer all day. You yeah, know? right. It's a good like, day. That's a that's a good day. You mm -hmm. know, especially with the life that he'd been living up until now, you gotta have that, right? He's just free, no yeah. obligations. Exactly, nothing. But as he as he really starts to think more and more and get those those other seventy, mm -hmm. right? There's gonna be those things like, oh yeah. Go these visit are, my parents. Yeah, you these know? are much harder things, but right. also they're the kinds of things that mean more to me as a person, not more yes. mean to me in something to me in the moment. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Having a day of loafing around drinking beer, good day. Good start. But yeah, that's a good start. But you know, if you We uh, can't stay there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. that's not going to be something that you would regret not doing as much as maybe some of the other things on the list, right? Sure, sure. Um Right. But, okay, and we have another character. Yep. They're already set up to be diametrically she's, opposed to Tendo. She, yes, yeah, she is She is in zombie land. She's, right. she's literally getting uh -huh. everything set up with the rules and everything. Oh, yeah. And she's yeah. like, yep, that's that's what we do. That's mm -hmm. how we're going to live. Yep. Uh, a 10-kilometer 10, 10 run at, every day to, to start out so that it's the, yeah, because cardio, you know, that, that would be the most important rule. Like, yeah, you got to yeah. outrun the zombies. But... There you okay. go. But um, all right. I, I think that uh, I think that the, the big thing with this here is that even though her thing is because she wants to survive the zombie apocalypse, mm -hmm. we have to still keep in mind that Tendo does not expect to survive the zombie no, he apocalypse. Doesn't. No. So there is something he can learn from this crew, especially if at least one of them sees it as a, hey, no, we want to live a life beyond this. We can make it through all this. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's that's the thing. He doesn't necessarily expect that. It's yeah. it's logical to not expect that, but oh, yeah. still, that might be something to put at the end of your one hundred is survive the apocalypse. You know, like, you know, yeah, I mean, that's like the impossible. You know, that 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 would be that would be crazy. Like theoretically, you could if you go to an island. You know, right? Because like, yeah, eventually, like if you, I mean. Japan, it's an island. So. No, 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 right. But like, <laughs> but like, if you go to if you go to some island that's really out in the middle of nowhere, even if it was inhabited, yeah, as long as there's no winter, so you don't worry about right. electricity not giving you enough. Like heat the to the biggest problem that they would have there is it's someone. The well, yes, but as far as the zombies, it would be someone leaving, getting infected, and then coming back because no zombies would just. Well, a zombie know, couldn't come back. No, 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 island, no, it would no, be too complicated. no, no, right. But like if someone gets infected and then they come back while they're infected. Oh, with this zombie know? infection, it does not look to be a like a slow, slow thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It looks to be pretty quick from what we've seen. But yeah. Yeah. But I, I love that he's got not a hundred things written down so far, but mm -hmm. of the 33 things down so far, he's completed so many of them, meaning that he's not looking at his sights large enough 
oh, in the okay. grand term of things. And that's sure. a good arc for him to go on still, yes. despite having reached this nirvana that he's in, this, this yeah. euphoria that he's in. Right it would now. be very easy for him as a main character, given the perspective that he has mm -hmm. and given how much he's already changed from the first episode. To be a static To be character. static, especially now that we have this secondary character who's been introduced who is that's the polar the, opposite of him. That's where the main arc will be focused on as far as character development. Right, now. right, exactly. Yeah. Because they can definitely rub off on each other, but the things that he needs to learn right. about like surviving a bit better, that's that's not as important from a character arc perspective. No. That's a practical, mm -hmm. you know, story keeps going kind of perspective. Right. He'll so, eventually get to that point in like two weeks when his electricity starts to run out or his water yeah, and it's doesn't, the, okay, we gotta, he doesn't get water anymore from mm -hmm. the the tap or anything like that. His his yep. his what is his he looked like he had meal planned like like little like containers uh -huh. in his fridge. So it's like okay, so there was a place that you were in a while mm -hmm. ago where you didn't just have you know, instant ramen and stuff. You right. did actually prepare your meals and everything. So that's, that's makes good. sense if he, if he used to be a rugby player. If he's but, a rugby player. He built good habits in that regard. Yeah, but but you didn't you you got beer, but you didn't get actual food. So your fridge is still going to be empty, right? Eventually, like, like, you know, pretty like, quickly, like, 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 like probably, two days, you know, like, he, yeah, easily, right? Like yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the very next day he had to go out again and be like, yeah, so I, I only got the beer. That I mean, it depends. You know. I could see him sleeping for a whole day, like where it's just sure. like. You know, just I don't really need up. to eat. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. need to eat like one meal. Yep. And then just, just and sleeps. and he does have a motorcycle, so that will help a ton. And given that they mentioned that the apocalypse started during rush hour traffic, mm -hmm. that means you're going to have a bunch of vehicles around. Well, one that could be clogging the streets, so that could be bad. But well, vehicles are potentially also a death trap because of the noise. They'll attract more zombies. Uh, sure. So I, I really think he'll end up ditching yeah, the motorcycle. Get, getting the getting the chopper was probably not the best of ideas. What the the chopper? That's the that's the kind of motorcycle. It oh is. oh you know, right right um, yes. Like that's you know because those it's those, fun. It's fun. But it's those, on the bucket list. So it's on the bucket list. Done. But those do tend to be louder as far as motorcycles go. And a little bit unwieldy to control if you're not used to driving them. Eh, at least I mean he did a wheelie and was okay. I mean so. he just got lucky. Yeah. I gotta say. A motorcycle is a pretty dumb idea in a zombie apocalypse, well, in my see, opinion. Well, see, yes, yes, because it's not fully enclosed cabin type deal. Well, it's also just not safe. Like, well, no, 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 but like, but like, does the, you know, motorcycle, like your, more, I forget what the statistic is, like 19 times more likely to die in a, I a motor no accident idea. with it's a motorcycle. It's just not safe. It's, it's a lot, but... If you're but not going to get a car, why would you get... Zombie aren't no, safe. No, I know. Of course. Right. Fuck, fuck that like, stupid logic. I'm pointing out the point that it's the motorcycles are extremely less safe than a car. Mm -hmm. So why would you get a car in a zombie apocalypse if you won't get a motorcycle? Like, like I mean, why would you get a motorcycle if you won't get a car? No, no, yeah, because cause the, cause then even if you can't outrun them specifically, you don't have to worry about them tipping it over or it has, biting you while you're on it. Yeah, or, the main reason why you don't do that is you don't want to call the horde. That is the classic, you know, thing with zombies is don't make sure. noise so that the, the real group of zombies of like, 10,000 of them that are all just huddling around each other because they make yeah. their own noise. Well, and, and especially keep... especially if you like like use it and then bring it back to around where you're staying. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, if you had some way to be like, okay, I'm going to have this car in a parking garage somehow that I figure out some way to get to on foot sure. pretty consistently and safely, think, then yeah. you could do that. Yeah, I think but, that's a pretty good thing. But yeah, yeah, you're right. As long as you're not you know, bringing the zombies around with you, which... Apparently he did. And I liked that from her perspective, we could see that she saw, oh, we've got a little idiot here singing. And of course he brings zombies because he's singing. And he rode a motorcycle. And he rode a, or well, no, 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 he, no. Rode a bicycle. he rode a bike. But it's yeah. still the idea that they followed him because it's the, right, we he saw him. Yeah, he was now, probably uh, relying on the fact that I can outrun them, so it's fine. You know, as and opposed just out -bike to them. So. No, 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 no. Yeah, out, I can outpace them with my bike, right. so I don't really need to worry about it too much. Where, I, whereas I'm guessing she probably made sure to like take back roads and alleyways, and if she started to get chased by zombies, do loop de loops or whatever to lose them, and you know all that kind of stuff. She's not actually got any zombies trailing her because she broke yeah, exactly. side a long time ago. Right, right, and they're zombies, so they wouldn't be able to figure <laughs> out where she's going. You know. <laughs> Um, but yeah. I love her perspective here. I loved that the Sakura Mochi was the simplest little bit of joy that she could have had. Mm -hmm. And even though this is something that's part of her routine to not do, this is also day one. Yep. So she was like, Cheat days are important. I, yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. Even if she didn't eat it today, the idea of picking it up and being like, yeah, maybe I, I right. should have grabbed that. It, it, that. That little bit of white knuckling to that extreme just, just wore away a little bit mm-hmm. at, at her, at her uh, mental fortitude. Mm-hmm. You know, right? And, Which and, is something that she and brought that up. Stuff adds like, up. Mental health. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if, you're going if you to... can if you can maintain that in a zombie apocalypse by something as simple as a Sakura mochi. Oh, that's a pretty good. That's a damn good trade. Yeah, like, that's a very good trade. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I understand the idea of staying healthy. Oh yeah. Because sugar is literally there's no you, benefit to no, it. No, you do not want to carb crash in a zombie apocalypse. Or or just introduce anything that could weaken your immune system so you get sick. Like sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. like I. I am with you in the, you know, let's start a disciplined kind of plan mm-hmm. of action here. Yep. But, yeah, also, odds are you're going to die. You're just going to be one of the last survivors rather than one of the first, you know, right. people to die. Hence why I'm waiting for, like, the, in the OP, you know, they they hinted at it with the, the, the character. Other two characters. Well, right, but specifically the one that was in, like, the samurai the girl. Armor. Yeah, 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 the blonde girl. Right, where yeah, it's yeah. like, okay. You know, cardio and all that stuff is great and all. No, I fucking hate cardio. That's a li- but yeah, learning how to <laughs> learning, right, right. But that's that's, 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 that's literally the, the blonde girl in the ED. You can see her have the things on her legs. That's the the remnants of the armor and stuff. And uh, yes, I'm I'm very excited for these two characters to be introduced, yes. especially if one of them is like the. Yo, bro, we gotta relax, man. Like, yeah. let's, let's chill out. Let's go dude. surfing. Let's go surfing, man, yeah. yeah. Zombies, zombies can't swim. Zombies, zombies fucking hate the water. <laughs> like, you're not gonna find any of them here. <laughs> you can just, even if they, they do follow you into the water, you can just laugh at them while they're down below, you know, like, hoping he'll, he'll fall down to them. You think they're slow above ground, like, in air. <laughs> you put them in water, they're real fucking slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're already dissolving anyway, so the water just, it's natural acids just, you know... Get rid of that deer. All right. Oh, Good man. Stuff. But, yeah. All right. Good That's, stuff. That's uh, episode two. Y'all, mm-hmm. thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch, and if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.